All right, happy July 4th, and uh, hello from my hometown, Euclid, Ohio. <laughs> you know, it's appropriate that I should be in uh, Euclid on the, uh, appropriate I should be in Euclid on the uh, 4th of July, as the 4th of July was always my my favorite holiday of, of all. And uh, I'm driving through the old neighborhood where I used to have a paper route on my way to pick up my dad. And uh, we're gonna go to a barbecue down at my sister's and uh, I'm gonna pick my dad up. And I grew up right off of Lakeshore Boulevard in Euclid, which is right outside of, uh, right outside of uh, Cleveland. And uh, very, uh, very wonderful neighborhood. I my my childhood on a my my early childhood on a, on a scale of one to ten was about a 999. And we lived in this neighborhood, which uh, which is horseshoe shaped, and uh, and every July Fourth we'd have a parade, and we do a uh, we would do a parade and and just a, a small little modest parade. And we always thought it was real special as little kids because the, the Euclid Police Department would send a, uh, a squad car over to, to uh, you know, take us through the, uh, to take us through the neighborhood. You know, I mean, the, the parade lasted all of 15 minutes and we would dress up in, you know, different, uh, different costumes and what have you. And then we'd have games all throughout the, uh, the afternoon. They'd have hot dogs and hamburgers and uh, and sodas and beer for the adults and we play uh, you know just softball and all that stuff and then in the evening we'd all go up to Memorial Park and uh, we'd go up there for a firework display and uh, watch the fireworks and then fight the traffic to get home and and uh, we'd all crawl into bed we uh, Ten, 10 kids in my family, six of all six boys slept up on the third floor of the house. But uh, anyway, wonderful, wonderful memories. And you know, it's always uh, it's always interesting to come back. You know, having having been out traveled the world. You know, I was pulling into uh, I was pulling into uh, Euclid today on my way in from from Niagara Falls. And uh, you know, I found myself thinking as I was driving through the the, the streets. I was trying to find my way thinking that, you know, things just don't change. It's like, it's like, you know, I've, I've been out traveling the world and you come back and it's just, there's very, very little change at all. And I, I found myself remembering that uh, I once heard that uh, something like 90% of people never move outside of a 50 mile radius from where they were born. And as I drive around the, uh, the hood, if you will, as I drive around the neighborhood, um, I can see that uh, you know nothing's really changed. And I think about uh, you know a lot of my siblings and, and friends and what have you. And this has been this has been their life all along, you know. So it's a uh, it's interesting. It's just a uh, it's an interesting thing to come back after all these years. So with that in mind, I'm going to uh, go down and find my dad. Uh, he's going to be at the beach club. And you know it's kind of an awkward situation because my my brother and, and sister-in-law uh, live with my dad, and my sister-in-law she just loathes me. And I mean I, I don't even think "loathe" is, is the correct word, but uh, but she just loathes me to death. And uh, and so it's always awkward. And I, I got to keep telling myself that it's my father's house. <laughs> you know, it's my father's house, and and I have. Uh, Every every bit of you know every every right is uh, to be there as as, as she does and and uh, so with that in mind I'm going to go and try to have a nice time I'm sure that she'll be walking around somewhere and uh, hopefully she's not uh, not confrontational and uh, I'll just have a nice uh, I'll just have a nice um, nice July Fourth and get my dad and we'll go to uh, go out to my sister's for a for a nice barbecue. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to uh, go down and, and get my dad, all right? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to love to see him. All right, and this would be the old neighborhood. This is actually the, uh, other, side of the other side of the neighborhood. I grew up on the other street, and this is, uh, this is the adjacent. This is the other side of the horseshoe, if you will. And, uh, you know, it's so interesting coming back. The... Uh, the greenhouse you see up here on the right, that was the Shaughnessy's house. And then over to the over to the left, I might as well have lived in this house on the left, the red house. That was uh, 
the Wachter's house, and uh, I can't tell you how much time I spent in that house there. I was, uh, every time that I came home and I would smell stuffed green peppers cooking, you know, I would head over to the Wachter's and see what, uh, what they were having for dinner. They were usually good about going out for pizza and getting, uh, I think it was Giuseppe pizza. But, uh, and then this house up here on the left, that was the Wilson's house. And uh, a very, very musically inclined uh, family. And, and uh, Henry Wilson was a doctor. And uh, he used to take care of all of uh, my siblings and my uh, dental needs. And then uh, over here to the right, you had the Dezamba's house. And here was our field. This, we were one of the uh, few, if not the only, community off of uh, Lake Shore in this area that had such a large field. So you can see the, uh, the field there. And just beyond the field is the beach. So the beach is uh, through the field, and, and that would be... Uh, that would be Lake Erie, but then uh, coming up, you have uh, here's another house. The uh, this house right here, that was the Fitzsimons house, and uh, boy, I, I spent a lot of time there. My best friend was Michael uh, when I was there. But uh, anyway, continuing up, uh, you'll see the big house on the left with the American flag. That was my house when I was growing up, and all six boys slept up on the top floor. And then uh, you had uh, three bedrooms on the on the middle floor, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to park the car. I'm not even going to bother going in because I don't want to deal with my uh, I don't want to deal with my sister-in-law. But uh, we'll go down and see if my dad is uh, down at the beach and uh, take him for a nice uh, nice barbecue. Hey, hey Peter, how you doing? How you doing? You remember? Are you taking? Me to a carol? Yeah, we're gonna go for a barbecue. Okay, can we put this here? We will. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Yeah, everything's good? Everything's fine. You look good. Oh, thank you. You got the 11th Airborne hat on, yeah, huh? I got that one on. I can put yours on. That's okay, you're okay. good. All right. I've gotta I've gotta clean up the car a little bit. Okay. All right, sounds good. Happy you want me to sit in here now? No, no. Happy July 4th. Oh, happy for to you. Do you want a hamburger or anything? We're gonna eat at Carol's house. Okay. All right. So there's uh, there's Dad. All right. All right. So we're on our way now. I'm doing a video. Okay. Do you remember the videos? Yes. So you, have you missed me? Oh yeah, I did miss you. You have, huh? Huh. And do you miss do you miss Florida? Huh? Oh yeah, I did. You do, huh? You miss yeah. Florida? Yeah. But we talked about uh, maybe in November this Heller said it might I might be able to drive. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll if see I if... can't drive, then I'll probably just end up giving the car to uh, to Bob. Uh huh. Okay. Well, good. So what? Uh, he likes to drive the car. What have you been doing up here since you left Florida? <sighs> just go down to the beach. And go to the senior center once in a while to the library. Yeah? Bob takes me to the library once. Have you met any nice women? No, not here. No? No. Are you doing any garage sales? Maybe a couple, but not many. Not many, huh? Uh, if you, do you go to any garage sales? Not very often. Okay. Uh, Dave wants me to look for a left-handed glove if I can find it. Okay. You remember the uh, the watch that you gave Mercedes? Yes. She watch. She wears it all the time. Does she? She loves it. Oh. You can say hi to Mercedes. She's watching the video. Oh, hi Mercedes. How are you? <laughs> uh, I hope you have a real nice Fourth of July, and I love you, and you take care. And you can say hi to everyone out on the computer. Oh, and everyone, hi, how are you? <laughs> everyone having a nice holiday, a, a nice 4th of July. All right. I love you all. He loves you all. Oh, uh, <laughs> Mercedes says she likes her watch. Oh, Mercedes, she loves the watch. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, she loves the watch, so. Anyway, sounds good. We're gonna yeah. go uh, have a nice, I guess Chuck is making some ribs. Oh, that's great. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds real good. All right, you could probably say hi to little Mary also. Is she on the phone? No, little Mary's watching the, the video. Oh, Mary, how are you today? 
Uh huh. I love you and your family. We're going over to Carol's now. I think Kathy's watching the video too. Kathy, I love you and have a nice fourth and and uh, you got a new uh, granddaughter, I understand. Yeah. Drew and his wife. And I bet uh, I bet Mike and Alyssa are watching as well. Oh, Mike and Alyssa, happy fourth, <laughs> happy holiday. All okay, right. Okay, I love you and your kids. All right, let's go eat some ribs. Okay, okay so Buddy found a new friend, Mac. And Mac is the uh, Mac is the best dog my sister Carol ever had. And what kind of dog is Mac? Mac is a West Highland Terrier from the West Highland Banks of Scotland. Oh, okay. Wonderful. And He's Buddy 10 and years old. And Buddy and uh, and Mac have just been playing and and Mac is really good with <laughs> Mac is really good with Buddy. He's not too uh, not Look, too aggressive. Mac wants to play. And Buddy is just kind of I think Buddy's getting a run for his money here because usually Buddy is the one to uh, be the aggressor, and, and Buddy is, well. He'll be taking a nap soon, he'll be so tired out. Look at him go. <laughs> uh, and they've got a really wonderful area for them to, to play out here. Beautiful green lawn. Yeah, uh, look at them go, huh, Buddy? Okay, they're both tired. I don't know. I think this is round number seven, <laughs> and uh, and Mac he's panting heavily, but Buddy is uh, up. Okay, up, and there they go. <laughs> I think they're more interested in each other than they are my sister. There they go. Oh, it's wonderful to see. Uh, it's wonderful to see Buddy. Find a uh, a play companion, Corey. I know you're watching this intently. You know, I hope Buddy and Coco can uh, become become friends. But uh, just look at them go. All right. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Okay, so Buddy and uh, <laughs> Buddy and Mac have brought it in in the house and. You know, Buddy doesn't uh, get, quite get the concept of sharing. He grabs these little toys, and uh, he doesn't want uh, doesn't want Mac to play. But these guys have become best friends, really, uh, really rather quickly. I think Mac is uh, Mac's a little protective of Buddy. You know, he knows that uh, Buddy's a puppy. Give me that, buddy. Buddy, give me that. Give me that. Hey, give me that. Come on. Give me that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Okay. Uh-oh. There. You see? Mac outsmarted him. Oh. Okay. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to see Buddy just having a little little play pal here. See, Buddy doesn't want to share his he doesn't want to share his toy, but he doesn't know that Mac isn't really interested in his in his toy as much as he's interested in just Buddy himself. Huh? Huh? All right. <laughs> Let's get on with the barbecue. All right, so another 4th of July in the books. And uh, I think this says it all right here. You know, Buddy is just, uh, he's exhausted. And uh, rightfully so. He was, uh, spent the better part of the day playing with uh, my sister's dog, Mac. And, uh, and then, three little girls showed up, my nieces, nieces that I had never met before, and they, uh, they wanted to play with Buddy, so, Buddy is just, uh, oh, Buddy, you're exhausted, you're ready to go home and go to sleep, so, it's been a great, uh, couldn't have asked for a nicer 4th of July, you know, I mean, I got to see my dad again, which was, uh, 
really, really wonderful. And uh, and then I got to see my mother. Haven't seen my mother in a year and a half. And uh, got to see my mother again. And got to spend time with uh, with family. You know, my sister, uh, my sister Carol, and uh, and her uh, fiance. I guess. You, well, you, I don't guess. You call her. Uh, he, he's her fiance now. His name is Chuck. And uh, not sure if he goes by Charles or Chuck, but. Uh, what a, what a nice guy he is. Um, Chuck cooked up some ribs for us with uh, some other goodies, and uh, it was just a uh, just a wonderful time. Wonderful, wonderful time. So now it's out to, uh, gonna stay at my brother's place for three nights before heading, uh, heading back home to, uh, to Florida for a couple days, as I often tell people to change my underwear. <laughs> back to Florida to change my underwear before I uh, before I go who knows where you know I'm scheduled to leave and go to uh, go to Budapest next week but with everything that's happening in the world and considering that I've been to Budapest more times than I can count I'm wondering whether or not it, that is the uh, the best uh, best of choices at this point in time. So who knows? It's uh, one thing I do know is that it's nice to have that. Uh, it's nice to have that liberty, you know, of uh, deciding deciding where to where to go. But uh, anyway, enough with that. Hope uh, hope anyone watching this had a good had a good Fourth of uh, Fourth of July. Take uh, take care.